Hello Antwerps, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, in this section of my Windows 10 wrangling mini-series, uh, I'm going to talk about Windows 10 licensing. So. Uh, firstly, this is not an exhaustive um, video about everything to do with Windows licensing because that is an enormous topic that, especially when you start delving into the realm of enterprise and stuff like that, this is more appropriate to how it applies to home consumer users. So um, let's start on the basis of someone who has built a new computer or they've got an old computer they're upgrading uh, and they want to put Windows 10 on it. Now, firstly, I want to start off on the big reason as to why I started making this series of videos. Let's say that you have a friend, or the friend is you, um, who has their computer and they're like, oh, I have to spend $90 on an OEM license of Windows 10. Don't do that. You really don't have to spend $90 to get Windows 10 on your computer. Uh, and that is the biggest reason why I started making this series because I would see someone say that and then I'd be like, no, you really don't have to do that. And they're like, oh, what do I do? And I'm like, I need a video to explain this. So let's start from the top. Um, so firstly, uh, to summarize the feel of Windows 10, I need to explain the reason why Windows 10 is so easy to get for little or no money at all. We have to bear in mind that Microsoft has moved away from making Windows as a product and selling it. Windows is now software as a service and Microsoft themselves are heavily invested in the concept of software as a service where either you pay a monthly subscription for it or uh, they are getting money out of you by some other means by encouraging you to use their ecosystem. For example, if you use an Xbox, a lot of the shift now, rather than buying games, the shift is toward games like um, Xbox uh, Game Pass, where you pay a monthly subscription for access to a library of games. And this is where Microsoft are looking to make their money these days, because it's subscription based. It's more reliable income. So it's the same thing with Windows 10. Microsoft are not terribly interested in selling a $90 license for Windows because they have got other interests at play. Microsoft's first interest is to get people onto Windows 10 because that's where all of their other software as a service stuff is based, like Office 365 and the Windows App Store and things like that. Additionally, what Microsoft really doesn't want is people sitting on old versions of Windows like 7 and 8. And they don't, they're not trying to do that because they want to squeeze money out of you in the App Store in 10, although obviously that's part of it. The main reason behind that is obviously they don't want to support old versions. It costs them money to keep having to support old versions of Windows. Just look at Windows XP. That was the operating system that just refused to die no matter how old and decrepit it got. Microsoft really doesn't want a repeat of that with Windows 7, which again is why there's a big push to get everyone off of 7 and onto Windows 10. So first of all, uh, if you want to have a legitimate copy of Windows 10, your first objective is to get it installed on your computer. You can download and install Windows 10 completely free of charge from the Microsoft website. No piracy, no funny business. That's exactly what I've been explaining in the other videos of this series, how to download Windows 10 free and legitimately from, from Microsoft and install it on your computer. This will put you in typically an unactivated state. Now, the disadvantage of being unactivated is that you can't personalize your computer. So you can't change your desktop background. You can't select what icons appear, uh, you know, personalization, things like that. And you have a little nag screen in the bottom right corner of the screen that says this version of Windows is not activated. That's it. There's no other restrictions in place. So if you want to, you can just sit and use unactivated Windows and there's no penalty for that whatsoever at all. Uh, and if you really want to, there are little means and ways of hiding that little nag screen. However, you're starting to jump through hoops here. There are easy ways to solve this. You can activate Windows 10 with a Windows 7 product key because Windows 10 is a free upgrade from Windows 7. So if you've got an old computer with a Windows 7 product key on it, let me go find one for you actually. So here's a random laptop and in the battery bay, it's got a Windows 7 product key on that. I'll give you a close up of that. So once you've installed Windows 10 on your device, 
uh, and it's saying you're not activated and you need to enter a product key, you can bash in that Windows 7 product key and it will activate Windows 10 on your computer. And that is part of the Windows 7 upgrade entitlement. And once you do that, the, the computer's hardware ID, which is a random number generated from all the hardware in the computer, is permanently activated. So if you were to wipe it and then reinstall Windows 10 again, Windows 10 will automatically be reactivated because the Microsoft servers will say, yes, we recognize this computer. That has a digital entitlement on it. However, if you change large amounts of the hardware in the computer, not so applicable with a laptop, but definitely applicable with a, compute, with a desktop computer, you may become unactivated again. Generally speaking, this will happen if you change the motherboard because the motherboard is like 70% of the hardware in the computer. So that's the first easy way that you can get Windows 10 for basically free is to dig around for an old Windows 7 product key and smash that in and that'll get you activated. I actually collect Windows 7 product keys on any old computers that I'm recycling because they're not going to need it anymore and I can use that product key to activate Windows 10 on my newer computers. Every time I throw out the computer, I take a picture of the product key on my phone and I've got a little, I've got a little library of product keys. And once I've activated one, I delete that picture because I've used that key. So the other way of doing this, which a lot of people talk about, is if you have a look on places like Amazon, you can often find suspiciously cheap product keys. And a lot of people will say, oh, what are those product keys then? Now, in all probability, nine times out of ten, these are what are known as TechNet keys. Now, I'm going to refer to these as grey market keys because they are actual activation keys and you can use them and nine out of ten times they work. However, TechNet keys are not supposed to be sold separately. They're designed for developers who are testing software on lots of computers and they need lots of software for testing with. Uh, so the reason why these keys are kind of shady is that they're not supposed to be sold separately. It's like buying a multi-pack can of, uh, you know, a 24-pack tray of Coke cans and selling them separately at an event. You're not supposed to do that. That's not allowed. And it's the same deal here. However, once again, once your product has been activated, the key doesn't matter anymore because the activation is stored with the Microsoft activation servers. So you only need that key to work once. So make of that what you will. Then the other condition in which you may be entitled to free Windows 10 is if you're working on a computer that was supplied with Windows 8. Now, with Windows 7, as you saw on the laptop there, we had a product key sticker on the bottom. When Windows 8 rolled around, they stopped doing that. They didn't put product key stickers on the bottom anymore. The product key was encoded in the computer's BIOS. And when you install Windows 10, it will actually check the BIOS of the computer to see if there's a Windows license stored there. And if it finds a Windows 8 license, it will automatically install the relevant version of Windows 10. So if it finds, for example, a Windows 8 professional license, it'll install Windows 10 professional. And likewise, phone premium, it'll install home. And once it gets to Windows, it will automatically be activated based on that Windows license that was saved in the BIOS. So again, if you've got a Windows 8 laptop, you probably work, you can probably do a clean install of Windows 10 and never need to any product key at all. And finally, as I mentioned, once a computer has had Windows 10 installed and activated on it once, it will hold that activation. So even if you wipe the computer clean and reinstall Windows, you will still be activated because Microsoft will recognize it as a previously activated computer. So the moral of the story is don't spend $90 on a copy of Windows 10. There are much cheaper or free ways of obtaining it. And if you think that it seems kind of weird and like, why would Microsoft allow this to happen? Well, you have to keep in mind that the number of people who are installing Windows manually, like, you know, people who are building their own PCs or home users that are upgrading their own computers, they fall under a huge minority the vast majority of Windows licenses that Microsoft sell are in the OEM space. So that means all the computers that are being sold down at the local big box store, all the, all the brand new computers that are being sold on the internet, brand new Dell computers, HP computers, all those other brands. And also, um, if you're in the business space, you know, all of the computers that are being sold to a business. If you've got an office block with a thousand office computers in it that are all being used by staff, that's a thousand office licenses that Microsoft sold to that particular company. They will have a more advanced licensing deal on that. 
But the point is, Microsoft are making their money on Windows through all of that space, and they're making a hell of a lot more money in that space than they are selling it to small home users who are building their own PCs. We create, we account for a minute amount of the market sector. And that's why Microsoft allows all these little loopholes like activating Windows 10 with Windows 7 product keys. Because as far as they're concerned, it's one more person on Windows 10 who was previously using an operating system they want dead. So that's the end of this segment. If you have any questions, smash them in the comments down below. Please don't ask me for Windows keys. I can't give you those. I've given you all the hints that I'm comfortable with supplying you with, and you should be able to figure it out from there. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.